mean, what's the difference between common cold and the flu? And what I would say to that is there's not, in terms of uh, a flu starting and a common cold, they're about the same. I mean, sometimes a common cold will be a precursor to a flu. In fact, a common cold is caused by a virus as well. Um, the flu in general, though, you'll have other symptoms such as muscle aches, uh, weakness, uh, fatigue, fever, chills, headache, um, and sometimes even diarrhea and vomiting. So the flu in general has is a little bit stronger than the common cold. The common cold may just represent as cough, uh, runny nose, headache, fevers, chills, um, but not have all the other symptoms such as muscle aches, uh, malaise, just kind of feeling like you're knocked out, like somebody just beat you up. Um, so that's really the main difference between a common cold and the flu. Now, a lot of people start asking me nowadays, given the swine flu uh, uh, epidemic, really worldwide, what's the difference between um, the swine flu and the regular flu? Well, really, in terms of symptomatology, not much. The swine flu is a more virulent strain of the flu. Um, one of the issues has been that when the CDC comes up with their vaccines every year for the flu, they didn't really predict the swine flu um, as being an issue. And so the vaccines that we currently have for regular flu don't really um, affect uh, swine flu. In fact, there is terms of prevention, another vaccine for swine flu. Now with respect to what's the difference, swine flu, as we've seen so far, has caused uh, more fatalities than regular flu, especially in uh, pregnant women, the elderly, people greater than 65, people uh, young, kids uh, less than five years old, um, children who have neurodevelopmental issues such as uh, so, cerebral palsy or muscular dystrophy uh, or developmental delays. We also see it in the immunocompromised uh, more so. So people who, have, who are on uh, chemotherapy uh, for any reason have AIDS or have uh, sort of uh, compromised immune systems, um, we're seeing swine flu kind of take its toll.